Citizen Kane is a 1941 American drama film, often considered by critics, filmmakers, and fans to be the greatest film ever made. The film was nominated for Academy Awards in nine categories, but only won the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay. Orson Welles was the director, co-writer, producer, and starred as the main character, Charles Foster Kane. George Orson Welles was an American actor, director, writer, and producer who worked in theater, radio, and film. His best remembered for his innovative work in all three media, most notably Caesar, a groundbreaking Broadway adaptation of Julius Caesar in the debut of Mercury Theater, The War of the Worlds, one of the most famous broadcasts in the history of radio, and Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane was Welles' first full-length film. While creating this film, he was allowed to develop the story without interference, cast his own actors and crew members, and have the privilege of final cut, which was unheard of at that time for a first-time director. Wells was an outsider to the studio system and directed only 13 full-length films in his career. While he struggled for creative control in the face of studios, his films were heavily edited and others remained unreleased. His distinctive directorial style featured layered and nonlinear narrative forms, innovative uses of lighting, unusual camera angles, sound techniques borrowed from radio, deep focus and deep space shots, and long takes. Citizen Kane made cinematic advances on many fronts, and one of the most significant contributions to cinematography came from the combination of two particular techniques, known as deep focus and deep space. Deep focus refers to having everything in the frame, even the background, in focus at the same time, as opposed to having only the people and things in the foreground in focus. Deep space refers to the spacing of characters in a scene and how they occupy the space in the frame. Deep focus and deep space are most effective in scenes that depict Kane's loss of control and his personal isolation because it gives the audience a clear view of the space Kane commands, as well as the space over which he has no power. Greg Tolan, the cinematographer Wells chose for Citizen Kane, had used the technique, techniques in earlier films he had worked on, such as The Long Voyage Home and The Grapes of Wrath. But Citizen Kane marked the first time these techniques were used so extensively or effectively. Now let us analyze a scene that uses these two techniques of deep focus and deep space. Charles, okay. pull your muffler around your neck, Charles. Kane, okay, I think we shall have to tell him now. Yes. I'll sign those papers now, Mr. Thatcher. You people seem to forget that I'm the boy's father. It's going to be done exactly the way I've told Mr. Thatcher. There ain't nothing wrong with Colorado. I don't see why we can't raise our own son just because we come into some money. If I want, I can go to court. A father has a right to. A boarder that beats his bill and leaves worthless stock behind. That property is just as much my property as anybody's, now that it's valuable. And if Fred Graves had any idea all this was going to happen, he'd have made out those certificates in both our names. However, they were made out in Mrs. Kane's name. He owed the money for the board to the both of us. The bank's decision on all matters... I don't hold with signing my boy away... The content of this scene, and content is described in the textbook as the subject of an artwork, or in this case, a scene of a film, is a flashback of when Kane's childhood was signed over to his mother's banker, Mr. Thatcher, so that the bank could manage his newfound fortune. On the other hand, the form of this scene, which is described in the book as the means by which the subject is expressed in experience, is deep focus photography and deep space composition. As described earlier, deep focus refers to having everything in the frame, even the background in focus at the same time, and deep space refers to the spacing of characters in a scene and how they occupy the space in the frame. In this still, you can see how everything is in focus and there is a clear foreground, middle, and background. These two elements of this scene create an environment of power struggle. The mother holds the power and is prominently in the foreground, while the helpless father is stuck in the middle ground, frame left, having no real say in the matter. Meanwhile, young Kane sits framed in a window at center. Though young Kane playing in the snow is a small visual element, its light and movement get attention. Young Kane's fate is the subject of the conversation, and his enclosure in the frame of the window is symbolic of the imprisonment Kane will feel at the thought of being sent away from home to be raised by his mother's banker. Deep space creates the power dynamic of this scene. Those making the decision and holding the majority of power occupy the foreground right. Those trying helplessly to influence the situation are stuck in the middle ground left, 
and the powerless subject of discussion, Cain, plays in the snow, oblivious to the situation in the center of the background. Now let us look at another scene from the film Citizen Kane. With respect to the said newspapers, the said Charles Foster Kane hereby relinquishes all control thereof and of the syndicates pertaining thereto and any and all other newspaper, press, and publishing properties of any kind whatsoever and agrees to abandon all claims Which thereto. means we're bust. All right. Well, out of cash. All right, Mr. Bernstein. I've read it, Mr. Thatcher. The content of this scene is where Kane has fallen into some big financial difficulties and now must sign the power of his media empire over to Mr. Thatcher and his bank. As for form, this scene is very similar and uses the same techniques of deep focus and deep space as the scene we just analyzed. In analyzing the element of deep space, we see Cain as occupying the background. In the background, Cain's size is diminished further by the size of the windows, symbolic of the humiliating mood he was in at the time due to financial difficulties. This scene is also famous for the way the deep focus creates an optical illusion. Because the deep focus tends to flatten the room, the true size of the room is not apparent until Cain walks away from the table. As he reaches the back of the frame, we realize the true size of the room and that what appears to be normal-sized windows actually fill the entire wall. Now let us turn our attention to another film that uses these same techniques of cinematography. As discussed earlier, Greg Tolan was the cinematographer not only for Citizen Kane, but also for the movie Grapes of Wrath. Before his work in Citizen Kane, he started to experiment with these techniques of deep focus and deep space in the movie Grapes of Wrath. In this scene from Grapes of Wrath, the banker has come to warn the Joad family of their house being seized and that they need to move out. Within the frame, we see everything, even the background in focus and the spacing of characters, as in the foreground, the banker showing him as the one with the power, the middle ground, the leaders of the family trying to make sense of the situation and do something about it, and the background, those with no power of the situation, such as the children and young adults.